Agricultural Partnership is aiming to help food pantries in Denver keep their shelves stocked. Denver 7's Micah Smith shows us how they're combating a growing need by growing a solution themselves. In the greenhouse, we have about 34,000 plant ports, and we need to have about another 10,000 plants in here ready to go in every week. Looking inside JFS Altius Farms. We're going to walk past basil, which if you touch it, you can smell it. Ooh, it has a strong <laughs> scent. It can be hard to fathom. It's in the middle of downtown Denver on the second floor of a building. We launched in 2018, so for the last five years, we've been growing leafy greens and herbs for restaurants, for grocery stores, and some direct to consumer. We use non-GMO seeds and we serve about 40 customers in the Denver area. What we have here are some lettuces. And the original founder of Altius Farms, Sally Herbert, says a new partnership with Jewish Family Service, or JFS of Colorado, will diversify that customer base. We have over 30 plus programs and services and some of those services deal with food security. Linda Foster, the president of JFS Colorado, says more families than ever need food help. Before COVID, we were serving 45 households every pantry day. Now we're serving on average between 130 and 150 households every single pantry day. And this will give us the opportunity to train veterans and others who have high barriers to employment, including those with disabilities and refugees. Foster says with a team of eight people producing about 750 pounds of produce a week, JFS Altius Farms will also restock food pantries. Here is something we call the line. All right. And so what happens here is we have a list of things that are getting harvested for the day. It's hydro cooled and it helps with the freshness of the product. Mm -hmm. And then when is the product delivered? The product is delivered same day or first in the morning the next day. Herbert says most grocery store produce is seven to ten days old. So. JFS Altius Farms is serving up some of the freshest produce in town with a full course of education and a side of opportunities. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7.